Hey guys, it's Breezy. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to complete a 5 mask as an arms warrior in Stormwind. This guide will be useful for other classes as well that might not have as much um, self-sustain, but arms warrior doesn't have any self-healing basically, so I thought this class would be great to show how I do it. Um, personally, I don't do a lot of with the potions, but I'll link this, this weak aura in the description and um, all you have to do to import it is go to the the Wagio site and go to import and paste the text here and you'll get this. This tracks the Herald of the Titans buff and the potions that I will explain in a little bit. As you can see I do have all five masks on and let's get into it guys. Uh, actually let's let me mention you should probably bring drums if this is your first time doing it, just because there are some bosses in here that are worth using them on. And also, uh, Ghastly Goulash, I find, helps with a lot of classes that necessarily don't have a lot of self-sustain. And also, whatever pre-pot you use would be good too, but you don't necessarily have to use them. I've been doing 5 masks for a while now, so this should be not that big of a deal. My tree isn't fully developed either. I'm only at 550 sanity. So, let's get into it. Okay guys, so a brief explanation here. Um, let's just talk about what these actually do. So purple next to this guy means that the purple one is the poison. So if you click the poison, or if you click the purple on the icons here for the weak aura, you can figure out which other ones you can pick up if you choose to do the potions. I think doing the potions is actually really beneficial for a lot of classes, and it's actually a great way to learn how to push these uh, five masks uh, if you're not doing them for your thousandth time. But also, there are some buffs. Here's one of them. This is where you can get, like, a, I think it's a 10% haste buff. But on the other side here, we can go do that real quick. You'll find a mob just chilling in here kill him real quick and he should give us a buff. I don't actually don't remember what this one is. Um, he gave us a buff for versatility. So 7% versatility helps push these masks quite easily. I only pick up the ones at the beginning usually just because they're the easiest ones and not so far out of the way. But there are some more that I will point out if I see them. Um, so we're going to finish up the first area here. And I have to mention, guys, that, you know, this is not something that, oh, you know, I want to push this as fast as I possibly can. This is something that you want to take your time with. Even though that it is a time event, you don't want to over pull if you aren't necessarily geared or familiar with the pulls already. So this is my, you know, I've probably done this close to 100 times, so don't necessarily do the pulls that I'm doing, but if you know your strengths and your limitations, go ahead and try and test them here, because this definitely is like a fun little event that you can get a lot of satisfaction out of doing, because not a lot of people can do five masks, or not, not necessarily are geared enough to do them. So we're going to pop a defensive here, because I did a huge pull. Uh, 
and right. Then we're just going to pick up the bombs here. Uh, if you guys haven't got the mail muncher mounts, you can do that, but I haven't, so I'm going to do that on this run. Place the bombs. The first area is incredibly easy, but should just be able to do this pretty easily. Especially with the, the Titan's buff, makes it a lot easier. All you have to do is just run around, make sure you're not getting hit by the uh, black pools you leave on the ground or anything like that. You don't want to drain unnecessary uh, sanity that you need. We'll just walk around here. Get the last one. Um, one of the masks actually uh, makes it so that all of the affixes in your Mythic Plus, or not, sorry, not your Mythic Plus, your 5 mask have two of them so in each zone or like the easy zones you'll have two that are in tome phobia and dark delusions and in the harder zones you'll have two which i have not seen yet but they're they stay the same between both of the zones so like for instance this one in the other easy zone will have another one that's exactly like this so cleared that guy pretty easily don't need to use drums on him. Personally, I only use them on. Oops, I only use them on the last boss because everything else in here is fairly easy. But we will just get over here. I like skipping that guy just because it's a time skip. You don't really need to kill him. So for the hard zones, we'll have lead and foot and split personality, which are probably the worst ones, honestly. Just because of how this, the bosses in this work, um, Matthias Shaw and the mage guy are very annoying to fight. I'm just gonna kill this girl. Okay, nice. And I ran into that. You gotta be really careful with these fixes, guys. So, like for instance, here, this one give me plus healing. I personally don't like doing it, just because I don't want to look for all of these things, but it's up pe some people's alleys, and, you know, it'll make it easier, too, so. Okay, I didn't kick that. Oops. That's alright. We're not in any danger. You want to focus these casters first, guys. They are a pain if you pull big, and, um... Yeah, they're a real big pain if you pull big, just because they have a five second stun, which you can kick, but um, tabbing through everything, not the best in this area. So go ahead and kill these guys, kill a caster first. I personally like taking this one the slowest out of all four zones, just because the casters here are the worst. They are very annoying. So once we kill this guy, I'm going to pull the boss, or the mini boss, I guess. Pull them around those. Right, get your mailbox here. I am so unlucky with this mount, it's crazy. Okay, we'll just go around. Hopefully we can get up these stairs without bumping into these. Yep, alright, nice. 
Always kill the casters first. Always kill them. Now, this is a trick for Matthias that I found that was extremely helpful. You want to face away from the eyes. It's so dumb, and I thought of, should have thought of it sooner, but I just didn't. And, oh boy, did it save me some headaches. Um, the eyes will drain 60 sanity per second, so at all costs, you want to try and face him away. If you can, um, from the eyes, you want to hit him somehow. Without looking at him. Oops. Okay. Wow. All right. I got hit by that. So, like, as you can see, it's a pretty annoying fight because, or for a melee at least, because you have to fight him backwards, basically. <laughs> Not the best thing as if you're as an arms warrior, so. Uh, we got it done, though. But, let's just keep on chugging. Oops. Somehow I pulled this guy. Oh, that's alright. Kill these guys real quick. Let's, let's get this. Alright, combat. Okay. I think this next area is pretty easy, so I usually do it all in one pull, um, just to get it out of the way. If I have my cooldowns up, and as you can see, Blood of the Enemy is coming off of the cooldown here really shortly, so we're going to try and pull everything, except I get just absolutely destroyed by Grasping Tentacle. Thank you, Corruption. Very fun. Yep. Dismounted off of a first hit from some random enemy. Pretty cool. Get LOS by nothing. Get these guys all grouped up. Then we'll nuke them down. done with those. Well, basically, the tentacles are pretty annoying. I actually didn't even see my Dark Delusion. I am a silly person. Uh, I should have waited. For this guy, you want to wait until the last second of his cast, but we're going to get him down pretty quickly here, just because his cast drains a lot of sanity. So you get it right before it goes off, or right before the first bolt of it goes off. That would be pretty good. Then we're going to run over here. This guy, Slave Master Ulrock. So the green one here would give me a defensive. Don't really need it, so I'm not going to get it. But if you are pushing your 5 mask, it is very beneficial to get the potions. I actually didn't know how they worked until I finished my first five mask, so <laughs> could have done that a lot sooner, I tell you that much. I think I did four or five tries before I could get it done, just because I was having so much trouble with uh, Matthias, because I didn't know about the eye mechanic. Kind of annoying, but that's okay. We got him. If I had done more research going into it, would have been pretty easy, but alas, I did not. So going around, get these cages. Picking up any chests that we see, if we find any. There should be one over here, maybe. Yep. 
Okay, then we're going to go back to the mailbox in the last prisoner. Hopefully we don't get stunned by this guy. Nope, nice. Here is where one of the extra buff guys, the guys that you can kill to get a hour-long buff would be, but fortunately it's in a different area, and I don't remember where that is. I think it might be the bar in the first easy area over here. Or, I mean, um, this area, sorry. The second, or the first hard area. As we're doing this again, I like to go further away just because this eye's aggro range is really annoying. So, we'll just run over here. As the Dark Delusion follows us. This area is super annoying with lead and foot, so just take your time doing it. You should have made up a lot of uh, time in that other area anyways. Yeah, we'll just sit in this, honestly. Okay. To the next piece of land. Alright. We got, we pulled the Twisted Appendage. We're going to stop and fight him just to get drop our stacks of uh, lead and foot here before we fight the first mini-boss in this area. Who is very annoying if you have a lot of stacks of lead and foot. You kind of just want to let him cast, then, then move a bit just because of the way his corruption works. Perfect. What a great spawn, actually, for that. Yeah, that guy was really easy this time. Holy moly. Got lucky. Go around, get these guys. And then we'll make our way to the second mini boss here. As a warrior, you don't really need to kick those guys. Well, unless the second one goes off. But um, just because you have Berserker Rage, save some time on it. Get an extra button in. Let's see here. Yep, so anytime you're in combat, you get lead in foot. Which is really annoying because you're going to be in combat a lot just because of the traveling guys around here. So, we're just going to... Knock these guys out real quick. Alright, nice. And there's the second mini boss here. I'm gonna drop this real quick. Oh, we got pretty unlucky. It's okay, we'll just wait. We got plenty of time. So, I just did something that I shouldn't have done. I like to kick this guy's cast inside Rain of Fire, just because it can be very annoying. Um, doing it outside of it, but that's okay. Um, because he'll stand inside the Rain of Fire and cast Shadow Bolts on you, which don't drain your sanity, they're just kind of annoying. Oh, I thought I could make it through. That's right. Only lost 12 sanity. Alright, let's go get this last portal. And then we can head to the bane of my existence as an arms warrior. Which is this next boss. Because holy moly, this guy is very annoying as an arms warrior. Make sure you save your kicks for polymorph. As I have to remind myself every week. <laughs> Polymorph is very annoying. It will destroy you um, just because of the tainted or the, what is it called? Uh, uh, Mask of the Burning Bridge. The uh, little pools you leave behind. You will just walk around and stand in the same pools and they'll stack up and take nearly 50 of your sanity for no reason. Also, on lead and foot weeks, it's extremely boring because you have to stop 
and then go, and then stop, and then go. Feels like I'm in preschool playing red light, green light again, man. Ooh, can we go around? Yes, nice. You can kind of face your way uh, with those things to make it more likely that you can just go around them. Kill this guy real quick, because he will not teleport with us. Nice. Oh man, that is just really unlucky, actually. We gotta get get on this boss real quick. Come on, drop, please. Nice. I like to burst this guy a lot at the beginning. But remember, guys, save your kicks for Polymorph. Drop our leaded footstacks. So we got the polymorph there. Maybe we can kill him in this. Nope. Alright. We're just going to eat the icicle. Nice. That wasn't so bad. Got a good, pretty good burst window on him there. Alright. Let's head back to the cathedral and fight... Uh... Valera, I think your name is. We'll see. Yep. Oh no, Lyria. This is where I would pop drums or use your pre pod or anything like that because this boss is very annoying, even though it only has one dark eye. Uh, as a melee, holy moly, this boss could not be more annoying. So we're going to pop drums here. Make sure we face away from the eye, stand in the dark circle. Hell, we'll even pop a pre-pot. Let's do it. Gosh, so annoying. Oh no, I didn't even see the polymorph. And I charged somehow. While in that, that's just unfortunate. Well... Let's see if we can burst her down. This boss gets very annoying at the end. Just because you cannot have a lot of room to run around. So that's a pretty unfortunate circle, actually. Maybe we can get the eye to spawn over here soon. Nope. I'm gonna spawn in the middle. Oh, that's pretty annoying. Yeah, this is one of the worst designed ranged units in the game, I think. Ah, <sighs> please come over to me. I'm LOSing you. Thank you. Good lord, man. What a fucking fun fight, smile. Come to me, please. Thank you. So, it gets pretty messy, but we got it done. There it is, guys. Got this all done. I really don't like Stormwinds. Orgrimmar is so much easier as a melee. <laughs> but, you know, we got it done. Nice. Let's see if we get anything good. Oh. Not bad, you know. I already have 9% haste on it, but that's alright. Not the worst thing in the world. But yeah, guys, if you enjoyed that video, make sure to give it a like. And I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure to subscribe if you liked it. I'll be coming out with the Orgrimmar video next week. And I will see you in the next one, guys. Have a good one.